Hi everyone. My name is uh, Anders Ekström. I'm the CEO at NetConsult. And uh, with me here today, I have uh, the digital media manager at uh, Hestens. Give him some applause in you. <laughs> so thank you so much. Great. Yes. Yes, and we will uh, bring our story on how uh, Hestens came to use Neo4j. And we will start with some background. We will go through with our approach. And then we will talk a little bit about uh, the outcome. But first, I'm going to give you a short brief about NetConsult. We're actually the first certified solution partner in, uh, in Sweden. The same uh, country as another great company was founded, Neo, obviously. And we're working with Neo4j every day from our office in, uh, in Gothenburg, in the western part of uh, Sweden, where we build uh, integrations and full stack applications for our customers, mostly around Neo4j, and uh, most of our customers use e-commerce in one way or another. And yeah, by the way, we actually won the Heston's uh, deal due to earlier track record, and that case was a uh, master data management and um, process optimization system for a company within the printing industry. So, my name is Kent Lovokana, I'm from Heston's, and we're a family company uh, right now in the fifth generation, including the sixth generation right now. Uh, we've been building beds or mattresses since 1852. So we have a quite long history. Um, and for the craftsmen, we've been teaching this thing from generation to generation, and we're really proud of it. And I just want to start by showing you a, a short movie about our craftsmen. It's in Swedish. So here's your chance to learn Swedish in two minutes. It's subtitle. Should we start with that? Jag är stolt över den känsla som finns över vårt hantverk. Mycket av det jag har lärt mig har gått från sängmästare till sängmästare. Att överta traditionen och kunskapen från tidigare generationens sängmästare känns väldigt speciellt. Det som driver mig och mina medarbetare är att göra den perfekta sängen. Som sängmästare på hästen är det min uppgift att föra hantverket vidare till nästa generations sängmästare. De som övertar min plats ska vara skickligare än vad jag är. Det är mitt mål. Med tiden får man en speciell känsla för naturmaterialet. De är levande och en del av kretsloppet. Ärliga material. För att behärska dem krävs tålamod. Övning och disciplin. Du måste lära av dina misstag. Det finns inga genvägar. Ingen säng lämnar Köping som inte blivit slutgodkänd av mig och de som var med och byggt säng. Varje detalj ska vara perfekt. Vi på hästen har en stor uppgift. Det är att få människor att prioritera sömn. Vetenskapen har visat att sömn och hälsa hör ihop. Därför är vårt hantverk viktigt. Kanske viktigare än någonsin. So, Hestens, family business since 1852. We got a factory in Köping in Sweden and we create everything there. Uh, 250 points of sales in over 40 countries, 210 employees, creating approximately 17,000 beds per year. And we are purveyor to the Swedish Royal Court since 1952 and that is something we're really proud of. So we had our owner a task for our craftsmen. We wanted to build he wanted to build the best bed in the world without no limitations, except for just using natural materials. And the result of that is this thing called Vividus. That's our masterpiece. And we used it and showed it in a fair 
And the response were fantastic. So people wanted to buy it because we hadn't even thought of that. But since then, we do sell it, and now it's, it's a masterpiece for us. But let's go back about a year ago. When Heston came to us and, and asked, we need e-commerce, and quote, all we need to do is to activate the shopping cart feature, right? Well, it was quite obvious at the time that uh, your uh, data infrastructure needed a bit of love and that's a quite a tough one to throw in their face, especially at such an early phase of our relationship. So, um, well, they appreciated our honesty, and to keep up with their tight schedule, we needed uh, technology that could uh, scale and evolve real quickly. On the other hand, they had a very well-defined uh, goal. So the goal that we have is drive traffic to store. That is everywhere drive traffic to store. And we had some uh, digital guidelines, the right traffic to the right store, meet customers where they are in different channels, and yeah, where we meet them, where they are. Plan globally, execute locally. And to give you some insights about the complexity of uh, Heston's uh, organization, let's start with the beds. They are made in a little town in Sweden called Köping. They are sold worldwide through a wide range of partners with different tiers and categories. The tiers state margins and other things such as promotion levels. And we have Heston's own flagship stores. We have franchise stores, which is a Heston branded store, but it's owned by its separate company. We have shop in shop like Macy's and Harrods. And all the sh uh, stores, they are managed by country managers, which are managed by regional managers. We have individual design programs and even hotels where you can trial sleep a specific bed. And all this in multiple languages, multiple currencies. The beds are distributed from multiple warehouses, from multiple jurisdictions with different tax rules. And all of this had to be supported both during pre-sale, the actual sale, and the after sale. And that's in real time. So. What we needed was the typical 360 degree view of a client. Not only a customer or anyone else, but anyone that's interacting with Heston in one way or another, regardless of advice, of advice, of course. So, similar to other companies that's struggling with their digitalization of their business, their data backend consists of numerous silos with unconnected data. We have SAP, for instance, which is primarily used for production handling and production planning and material handling. And their customers in SAP, they're actually the partners. And the Heston-owned stores, they use Salesforce for marketing and sales activity. Alongside, we have a long list of typically monthly-based subscription services, all with very important data, well separated from one another. Thankfully, most of these systems have very well-built APIs nowadays. So. Our job was to model the data structure and suck it all up into the graph, or integrate it, as we say. And now that we connect all these systems, we can leverage in a whole new way, and of course add extra value on top of it. We have Retail Next for in-store traffic statistics. We have Spotify, we have Unifound for trans transport administration. We have QBank for digital asset management, LanguageWire for language translation services. We have Mandrill, MailChimp for email campaign and transactional emails. We have Facebook, Google, MagPlus for digital publishing, mobile device management platforms and PR sites. And all these services were used, were used for the initially was designed for and therefore we achieved great leverage in the user experience. And of course, cut back a lot on developer resources. Yes, and uh, also like other companies, we had a lot of different systems and we have narrowed down those small parts, taking a lot of time for us, time consuming, so, and built those into Nay4JS walls. We just, we're using it for a lot of different reasons. Spotify, so we do have Spotify Enterprise in our stores, uh, but we're also having a, a science project uh, about what sounds that make you sleep faster. 
Uh, they were collecting data, data and uh, for the moment, we, we don't not sure of how to use the data. We're just collecting it, but we know in the future that we're gonna need it. So that is something really cool for us to, to start doing, and we're doing this project in, in the New York City in our five stores. So, uh, but the most important thing is that we don't know exactly, but we are collecting it, and we know we're gonna use it, but we're not, no, not sure right now how to use it. But uh, that's a cool project. Bed configurator is like in the car industry, you can build your own car, and we're doing the same. Uh, for two reasons, we have the possibility to build your bed, um, and behind the scenes, we do have the SAP system, having uh, the parts, materials, prices connected. Um, and uh, the outcome should will be one app in the store where the sales personnel can go through with the cus uh, customer to show them, yeah, some quotes or something they need to have. Uh, and the other part is, of course, to, to show this on the web. To uh, The goal is, of course, to do, make your own bed, look at the color, sizes, whatever you want to do, and you will have a price. And the goal is to book a meeting to our stores. And the store that gets the connection with the customers will have that configuration sent over to them. And not only the configuration, it will also have how you ended up with the configuration. What did you go from? Which bed did you, where you started from this bed, went to this one, or, or just one bed? And that is to make the sales personnel better prepared for the sale. So that is your goal. And the, the final goal of it is, of course, to, to do the bed configuration and then push that order directly into SAP system. And that can sometimes be time consuming. Now, that we have uh, collected and enlightened all this dark data, we needed some, somewhere to handle it. So we created Stable. And Stable is the administration interface for data. Uh, Stable is built on the continuous demands and feedback from the users at uh, Hestens. And it's an effective platform to input, modify, and visualizing data. We even enforce data governance policies and sometimes push data back to, to its origin. We handle organizational structures, for instance. We have the structure for the content management system, for metadata, for the search engine, search engine optimization and language translation. We can create maps with, and geographical areas which can be acted upon. We can do market segmentations and uh, management of specific internal workflows. On the other hand, we have Polo, and in Polo is where the action is. It's a built from the ground up content management uh, system, which is uh, it's lightweight and fast due to the tight integration with uh, Akamai Content Delivery Network. And it's uh, provisioned with uh, scalable and personalized content directly from uh, Neo4j. Polo also uh, hosts my, my Heston section, which is a self-service portal for uh, clients and partners. So the catalog, it's not a digital thing right now. It's a physical thing, a uh, quite big piece for us. But it's really important, one of the most important things we have. Since we do have catalog requests, and we do know that those ordering the catalog is, is a high rate of coming into the store, and having them into the store makes it really good for us because we have a high rate, uh, high ROI when we do have them inside the store. So this is the most important thing we have. The only problem we had was that they ordered the catalog. It could take up to four weeks until you had it, depending from where you are in the world, how many partners you had in between and so on. And uh, the outcome now is that we have lowered that to two to three days worldwide. And before we couldn't mention anything, but now we do keep track of who have ordered. We do get a tracking ID from UPS on where it's, uh, where it's at. Uh, when they do get it and collect it, we do send lead information to, to the responsible in the specific areas. We do have uh, a report system for the sales manager in that area as well that, is, that can follow up things. If have they booked, have you called them, and everything like that. And that was not possible before. So we have lowered yeah, from four weeks to two to three days. And that is really good for us. 
So marketing automation. What we knew before, since we do have the partners in between, that we could see where we, have, where we sold the beds, where in the world, what kind of store it is. So by collecting data from the SAP, Salesforce, third-party softwares, we were able to see where it actually stands, where in, in a specific area. So instead of for the marketing team to push out everything to a specific country, we can go inside, watch where they are in specific areas and do a lower impact of the, uh, the marketing. So not the whole country, just in a specific area. But also we know of the colors, the bed, the, the what we have more, the, what kind of legs, uh, the sizes and so on, and therefore it will be much easier when we do e-commerce um, and email marketing to push it out. We can even have those as filters to show so we don't need to send everything to everyone. Uh, doing this combined with have a warranty registration, uh, we also have the catalog request and combining that with the web, all this knowledge makes it really good for us to ba make as good as possible the omnichannel marketing. So we see a lot of potential of what we're doing right now in the moment. The platform, uh, we released the web here in April and a few of the apps and also a few other uh, minor uh, projects. And the upcoming we have the, we are creating the bed configuration right now and also, uh, uh, what are we doing more? Sorry, uh, the price engine as well, yeah. and the prepar preparation for the e-commerce. And by that, I just want to say that thank you so much for listening. Yeah, and thanks, Neo, for Jay. Yes, and if you have any questions and so on, we will take them outside in the booth there. Okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.